Okay, today we're going to return to placing Photoshop images into InDesign, only we're going to take a little closer look at how we can use layers and layer comps to our advantage. Okay, so here's a file just called Layer Comps PSD. This is a sample file that comes with Photoshop CS4. Uh, let's take a look at it. Here's my layer panel. They've been grouped together, so here's my text. Let's just flip it open. Here's some various votives layers, and let's click on some different backgrounds. All right, so let's take a look up here. Here's our layer comps. So what these comps do, they just remember the state of your document as far as what layers are turned on and off. Uh, also, what layer styles are on or off. And also, we can change the position of things also. Well, let's take a look. Let's click on title here. So here's our first setup. If I click on this one, you'll see different layers are turned on. Again, now we have some other different layers turned on. This adjustment layer is turned on. Let's see this last one, small vase. And you can see different layers are turned on. Now let's make our own from scratch. Say we want to make some changes here. Uh, say we don't want this guy here. We want the, let's do the large votives. Okay, let's turn this guy off. Uh, let's change the background. I'll turn these off. Let's turn the filtered background on. And now say we want to move this text, we can do that. Click on the text group here. I could bring this whole group of text down. Let's move these guys up. Let's take a look at our text again. You can see this text has a, a glow. I'm sorry, has a drop shadow. Now say I want to use the same effect on the text that's underneath it. Let me use my little alt click and drag trick. So I'll click alt click and drag and I can copy that effect to the other text. And you can see the drop shadow has been applied. But now I can save this as a layer comp. Just by clicking on the new layer comp icon here. I get this dialog box. I'll just call it temp for now. I can check what I want it to remember and I can even type in a comment if I like. But I'm just going to say okay. And now that appears in my list of layer comps. So now I can have several versions of the same file all in one file and I can just flip through these different layer comps. And if I want to make a change Say, for example, I changed my mind. I really want this text back up here. Watch what happens over here. I'll move my text up like so. And now this little funny icon, I don't know, it still looks like a newspaper, disappeared from my temp layer comp. But I can just update this by clicking on this circular arrows here. I'll click on that, and now it got updated to look like this. All right, I'm going to put it back, actually. I'll drag it back down. I'm going to drag my candles back up. And I'm going to update my layer comp here. There we go. All right, so now I'm just going to close this file and save it. Uh, actually, let me do a save as so I don't wreck this guy. Okay, now I'm back in InDesign, and let's bring in that photo. I'll do my place, Control D, Layer Comps Tony. Uh, let's take a look at our import options. So I can click this box here, or I can just hold the Shift key when I hold down open, when I click open. So we can turn layers on and off like so. 
I could even flip these guys open and turn individual sublayers open. Uh, but I can also use my layer comps here. InDesign is going to recognize these layer comps. Let's go down the list. So here's the one I made. I can click on temp. Here's one of the original ones. Small vase. So let's do this guy. Okay, now let's say okay. Get my icon. I'll click and drag. So there we go, it comes in. And now I can make adjustments anytime I want just by right clicking, going to object layer options. And now I also have the choice of making changes here if I like. Well, I can turn on and off any layer I like, or I can choose a different layer comp. Well, let's hit the preview. There we go. So if I had a client here, I can quickly show him different versions of the same file. And also maybe what you might want to do is you can turn the text off altogether. And you could put in your own text with InDesign. Yeah, here's mine. Okay. And I'll say, okay. So that's it for now. And keep a lookout for my next video on Adobe Talk.